Well, welcome back to GMA3. And Carol Barr, the wife of Kentucky Congressman Andy Barr, passed away just last year from sudden cardiac arrest. She was only 39 years old. And now Congressman Barr has introduced legislation honoring his late wife, as well as raising awareness for heart disease called the Cardiovascular Advances in Research and Opportunities Legacy Act, or the CAROL Act. And Representative Barr joins us now. Congressman Barr, thank you so much for being here with us. I want to offer our condolences. Your wife suddenly, as we just mentioned, and passed away at such a young age just eight months ago you also have two young daughters so I want to first ask how you're doing how you've been holding up these past several months well Amy and TJ thanks for having me on and, and we're doing okay we miss Carol dearly she was the best wife mother friend anyone could ever have and uh, she leaves an amazing legacy uh, a legacy of impact and a life of consequence even though it was a life cut too short and uh, our two girls, uh, Eleanor, age nine, and Mary Clay, age seven, uh, they are her greatest legacy. Well, I, I am sure it was uh, rewarding in some ways, cathartic, but also difficult to, to be sitting there and writing uh, a bill to honor your late wife. But the bill itself, the Carol Act we're talking about here, how do you hope? it will help folks who had kind of the heart condition that she had which is uh, again we should say somewhat common but still what is it you want the bill to be able to do well carol was diagnosed with a heart valve disease when she was in seventh grade called mitral valve prolapse and for most americans this is a very benign problem or condition it has to be monitored we were always told it's no big deal you just have to monitor it only 0.2% of Americans who have this uh, suffer a sudden cardiac death and unfortunately uh, uh, that happened to my wife Carol she was only 39 it predominantly affects younger women we don't know why uh, but we want with this legislation to fight back against heart valve disease we introduced the bill on heart valve disease awareness day in American heart month February uh, and it just goes to show, because many Americans don't know that this condition can be life-threatening, we know we need to raise awareness, and we know how important medical research is to identify those individuals with high-risk factors that actually would put them uh, in harm's way and potentially give them a life-threatening uh, condition. Congressman um, Eleanor, Mary Claire. Your two, uh, your two daughters there. What, what's their reaction, their response? What are they saying to you about um, this effort having to do with their mom? Just what do they think about what you're doing and, and, and to see their mom's name on a piece of legislation and, and see daddy trying to get it through Congress? <laughs> well, th they knew that their mom had a big heart. And um, the doctors told us that her heart just gave out, but in many ways, um, I think my daughters know that she gave a, a whole lifetime of her heart in just 39 years to them, to me, to our family, to our community. I think they're going to be very, very proud of their mommy uh, because of what she's going to accomplish and what her legacy will mean to so many other families. We're going to save lives, and, and uh, uh, my girls love their mommy forever, but they're going to be very, very proud of, of what she will contribute to, uh, to uh to many other families. I'm sure proud of her and of course proud of you and your efforts to do the very same. While, you, while we have you here, Congressman, I do want to ask you, uh, I understand you're planning to vote no to President Biden's $1.9 trillion stimulus package. I'm curious why the no vote and what you would do, what would your plan be to help the millions of people out there who are suffering financially during this pandemic? Well, I think what, what I would do is make sure that we spent the money that, that we've already passed in a bipartisan way. Over $1.2 trillion, trillion dollars remains unspent from the CARES Act and the subsequent pieces of legislation, including a $900 billion relief bill that was just passed at the end of December. And what is especially disappointing is how much in this bill, the $1.9 trillion bill that's going to be voted on later this week, how much it's unrelated to the COVID pandemic and the economic crisis related to it. A lot of it is is just a, a pork barrel spending that has absolutely nothing to do with the pandemic. And I think what's most disappointing to most Americans is that we've already appropriated $68 billion to get kids back into the classroom. I don't think we're following the science when we keep these schools locked down. And we have over $60 billion of already appropriated money that hasn't been spent to reopen our schools. And what's so disappointing is that this bill, $130 billion allocated for schools, K through 12, 
but 95% of it won't even be spent until after 2022. That's not going to get our kids back in the classroom. We can do it safely. We need to do it now. We need to focus on uh, deploying the resources that have already been appropriated. All right, Congressman Andy Barr, we really appreciate you coming on the show today. We know you're a busy man, so thank you for your time and for all of your efforts there in, in honor of your wife. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all helping us raise the awareness.